urban warfare is unavoidable. Experts predict it'll dominate the operational environment of the future. But cities present unique challenges for the military. Enhancing troops' situational awareness is key. We're looking at technologies that help us develop an understanding of what's happening in the city, uh, overcoming some of the challenges posed by the, the geography. The answer could be hundreds of intelligent sensors and cameras, fixed, mobile and in the air. They'd be the autonomous eyes in the battlefield, each one using artificial intelligence to decide what information gathered should be sent back to a central hub. Uh, we are working on the concept of a unified headquarters, so how we can pull loads of uh, feeds from various sources together to, to help the operators in the, in the headquarters understand the sheer complexity of an urban environment and really filter and only show those events that really matter to, to uh, the operators in the headquarters. So, instead of troops having to watch live feeds from cameras looking for enemy movements, the AI in the sensors does that job, feeding back to the ops room only relevant information. This system is called Sapient. It was developed by the UK Defence Science and Technology Laboratory and was tested during the contested Urban Environment 21 multinational experiment in Portsmouth. We can't generate the, the scale and the number of people on the MOD training estate and we can't replicate the complexity of the environment in, 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 to the level that we need to. So if we, if we did this experiment on a training estate rather than a real city, we'd learn false lessons. We wouldn't really understand the urban challenges. So experiments like this, despite their difficulty and complexity in achieving it, are key for generating true understanding as we move forward. As is getting feedback from soldiers on the ground. That's why they were brought in to take part in the experiment. From a contested urban environment perspective, what we want the soldiers to do is provide that bridge from a technology project into an operational context. They have a set of tactics, techniques and procedures. Um, what we want them to do is, within uh, the scenario, um, conduct their normal operations, but take into account what the technology is trying to provide and then provide that feedback loop into the scientists about um, how useful their technology may or may not be um, in terms of either changing those techniques and uh, procedures um, or um, adding to them um, to make our operations on the ground um, uh, easier to prosecute and more um, timely to prosecute in terms of um, from you know detecting, recognising, identifying something to having an effect on it, um, be that kinetic or non-kinetic. These technologies were initially trialled in the first Q experiment in Australia in 2017. It's come a long way and the elements could be used on the battlefield in the next few years. Claire Sadler, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.